It's been one week since Democrat Anthony Brindisi claimed victory in the race for New York's 22nd Congressional District, yet the incumbent Claudia Tenney has not conceded. That's because less than 1,300 votes separate them, and there are 12,000 absentee ballots to be counted and thousands of affidavit ballots left to be considered. The margin on election night tightened in Tenney's favor after it was discovered the following day that results from a polling machine in the Broome County town of Barker had not been properly uploaded. Now what was a political battle has turned into a legal battle with both sides going before a judge today. As Andrew Donovan reports, Brindisi's lawyers want the counting taken out of the hands of local boards of election. Tonight, a court order has the Boards of Elections offices in Broome, Shenango, Cortland, Herkimer, Madison, Oneida, Oswego, and Tioga counties on lockdown. Each ballot, with the bubbles thousands of us filled in, the electronic records, and possibly malfunctioning scanning machines, impounded, like evidence, including the thousands of absentee ballots coming in the mail. They're being, quote, held under a security system requiring bipartisan participation using a, quote, two-lock system. Both commissioners, each assigned a key, are needed to get in. Normally, on their own, the boards of elections would open and count the absentee ballots tomorrow. But instead, for the 22nd congressional race, the commissioners will be before a judge awaiting further instructions. The judge will set a calendar for when the absentee ballots will be opened and counted with a room full of people, likely elections commissioners, campaign representatives, and lawyers who have the right to make challenges on which questionable ballots count and which do not. Brindisi lawyers arguing they have good reason to believe in, quote, a likelihood of confusion of the voters because, quote, poll watchers have advised that there have been ballot irregularities, including the use of affidavit ballots due to registration irregularities, voters being sent to other locations, complaints by many that they were not in the poll book's report of a jammed scanning machine. Tenney's campaign accuses Brindisi of using his attorneys to try and steal votes from her Meanwhile, Brindisi spent today in Washington going through freshman representative orientation. ABC News and the Associated Press have both projected Brindisi as the winner. Well,